The islands of the Caribbean region are famous for their relaxing beaches and lively music. But the music of the instrument known as steel band, or pan, is native to only one island nation. Trinidad and Tobago, home of the steel band. Steel band music is a popular part of life here. From the small fishing villages to the hilltops, the whole population knows and loves the national instrument. You got that! <laughs> Pan is most important to Trinidad and Tobago. It's part of our culture. It was invented in Trinidad and Tobago. It's the only musical instrument that was invented in the 20th century. The special sound brings happiness to children and adults alike, and to musicians from many different places and backgrounds. Through the island streets and markets, you can't escape the music. Where does steel band music come from? Trinidad is an oil-producing nation. During World War II, the island's old oil drums became useful for something else, as musical instruments. The drums produce sounds that have heavily influenced the music of the region and can now be heard at everything from island calypso to classical music. In fact, the music goes back several centuries to early Africans who were not allowed to use their own drums. They were banned from beating their Congo drums because people thought they were communicating. At first, people played these African rhythms by hitting old tin cans. Later, people played on the tops of steel drums. And that's how the steel band sound was eventually formed. Steel drum musicians usually play by ear. Most players don't use music written on paper. In fact, in, in the early days, they knew nothing about music. They play by song. They even tune the pan by song. Tong, 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 and they listen for the note until they get it right. The steel band sound starts with the man who tunes the drums, the tuner. This tuner is known as Honey Boy. He's been tuning pans for many years. It takes a long time to tune the drums, but these instruments are used by some of the region's top performers. But the steel band is more than just music to Trinidad. It is a part of the local culture, showing the world the creativity of the island's people. Every night, places called panyards fill with musicians who come to learn the instrument. People like Beverly and Doug. Well, it's the music of my country, so I should learn it, you know, I should know a little bit about it. Pan is to Trinidad part of our main and culture. This is ours, we made it, we, we created it. Dove says that steel band belongs to the people of Trinidad and Tobago, but it is something which they are happy to share with audiences and musicians around the world. 